Welcome to our video on hemodynamics, the study of blood flow through the circulatory system. Hemodynamics forms the basis for many cardiovascular diseases and their treatments. Let's start with the basics. Blood flow is determined by several factors, including blood pressure, blood viscosity, vessel diameter, and vessel length. These factors interact with each other to determine the overall blood flow through a particular vessel. One of the most important factors affecting blood flow is vessel diameter. The smaller the diameter of a vessel, the greater the resistance to blood flow. This relationship is described by the Poiseuille's law equation, which states that blood flow is proportional to the fourth power of vessel radius. When vessels become narrowed, as in atherosclerosis or other cardiovascular diseases, blood flow can be severely restricted. This can lead to tissue damage and even death if left untreated. Blood viscosity is another important factor affecting blood flow. Blood is made up of red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, and plasma. The more viscous the blood, the greater the resistance to blood flow. This can occur in conditions such as polysemia, where there are too many red blood cells in the blood. When blood viscosity is increased, blood flow can be restricted, leading to decreased tissue perfusion and oxygenation. Vessel length is also a factor affecting blood flow. The longer the vessel, the greater the resistance to blood flow. This is because blood encounters more resistance as it flows through longer vessels. Blood pressure is the force that drives blood flow through the vessels. The higher the blood pressure, the greater the driving force for blood flow. However, when blood pressure is too high, it can cause damage to the vessels and lead to cardiovascular diseases such as hypertension. The heart plays a critical role in hemodynamics, as it pumps blood throughout the body. The strength and efficiency of the heart's contractions, as well as the heart rate, can affect blood flow and ultimately tissue perfusion. Electrocardiography ECG, is a tool used to measure the electrical activity of the heart and can provide important information about the heart's function. Echocardiography is another important tool used to visualize the heart and its function, and can provide important information about blood flow through the heart and vessels. So, that's hemodynamics in a nutshell. Hope you liked the video and thank you so much for watching. Please do like and subscribe to our channel for more medical content.